All right, so I'm feeling just like really tired. I think I've just been overworking myself, unsurprisingly. So I'm going to go lay down and I'm going to let Shell paint up the art academy and then make some artwork. Ah! Oh, um, can you actually paint this on the other side? Like on the way out, please? Okay, sure. Because we need to get you set up with a tablet. So I think you have to talk to one or either of them. I'll stick around long enough for you to get that rolling. Well, there's well our talk sister, to... there's the oh, they don't have hates anything us. To say, so just talk to Quinoa. I'd love for you to join oh wait, for you to join a class. Okay. So maybe you have to do a class uh repeatedly to do the Ahem. Take your places, everyone. The problem is your cursor is in the way. For today's assignment, I want you all to draw a cute Ah, no! No! You just ruined the colors on our sister! I didn't realize pressing B? Huh. I need to get our sister's colors back. There we go. I was not aware that pressing B would just delete all colors in an area. Well, maybe it's because you're the paint bucket. Yeah. Hey, okay, that's new. All right. <laughs> I want you all to draw a cute creature. Cute. You heard me, cute. A pro needs to be able to work in any style. Let's have fun with it. A cute creature. All right, Shell. What should the cute creature be? Shell, do you want to try this with a tablet or are you really committed to the whole controller thing? I mean, okay, if you, can you just, do you just need to put the Wacom? cursor on or what? Uh, well, I mean, I'd have to move it onto the tablet. Or you could just replicate the screen. Yeah, kind of. Okay, you can I try. I just wouldn't, it wouldn't be replicated on the TV anymore. You can try. We'll see how this goes. Because... Well, the thing is, what I'm wondering is, when I choose the colors, am I going to tap the screen to choose the colors? Or how is that going to work? I, yeah, I think you just tap the screen. I, I do have to say, I, I suppose Wander's going to have to cut a little bit of that out. Mm -hmm. Um, But I do have to say that when it came to digital painting, getting a screen tablet like the Cintiq or having something like an iPad Pro and whatnot, it is a, it is a game changer. Yeah. Because obviously drawing and painting with a mouse... Ugh having a normal pen tablet oh, yeah wanders wanders going what are you doing what are you drawing i don't know cute creature is it a turtle thing i don't know what i'm doing but yeah so it's just shift to undo and uh, let's see so undo redo the ones... Okay, so shifting colors is just Z. And but then can, X is... can you just tap the stuff on the left and yes. it doesn't do the same thing? The one that I w was important was specifically changing the brush size. So if you want to change the brush size, it's X. Oh, I didn't do that at all for the curry piece. You didn't need to. But now you can. Mm -hmm. And remember, you should also have your custom thing. It gets a little funky with trying to switch colors. You might have to tap it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I think you're golden. Right, brushes down. Now for the critique. No, look at that snail. Look at it. It's adorable. Ah. It's 
it's Otis. Or not Otis, Raisin, I think. I want to be his friend. It has your face. That's a lot of intriguing detail. I like the emphasis on blue-green. It really is cute, Curry. There's just a touch of light green to round it out. What is its name? I want to take it home. Yes, because it is an adorable snail. And pat it on the head. I'll be friends with it forever. That's all for now. Your piece will go to the Supperwoods Wielder Showcase, Curry. Our next lesson will be another master study. Keep practicing! Alright, time to see what the next master study is. Care to join us for an art class? Yeah. Ahem, take your places, everyone. Take a look at this old classic. Look at that cat. Look at it. Hidden Kitten by Donut. Try to recreate it yourself. See how you can learn from it. Well then. We have the weird kind of... undulating stuff? Or should we do the dots? Probably the dots. Alright. How do I go back? Eh. Alright, and if I make this... larger... We don't really have a gray that we can use unless... Yeah. Not quite the same, but it works. Those dots, though. Alright. And let's see. We're gonna have to erase. Right, brushes down. Let's see how we did. It's terrifying. Can't get fine enough brushes to do this. I should have just zoomed it in. Just done its face. That probably would have turned out better. Cute! Uh, the interesting thing about this particular one is it's using a kind of erased silhouette in order to get the outline of the cat as opposed to line, which is interesting, but I like mine. I feel its eyes burning through my soul. It's quite complex. Good use of negative space along the top. I enjoy how centered it is. Hmm. Ah, uh, this. How do you all not see? Radish? You're being a butt. Why can't you say something nice for once? Curry did a good job with this one. Whatever. Okay, that's all for now. Your piece will be in the Elevens' Master Gallery, Curry. Keep practicing. All right, what's the next one? Class is about to start. Want to join us? Sure. Ahem. Take your places, everyone. For today's assignment, I want you to express fear. Can't wait to see what our resident wielder attempts. Um, um, 
Wait to see our resident wielder attempt this one. Uh, let's keep comments to a minimum and focus on the art. Get to it. Fear. Fear, interesting. Right. Brushes down. Let's see your work. Wow. So intense, Curry. There's a lot of intriguing detail. The composition of light and dark is strong. I appreciate your minimalist color choices. All your fear. I can really feel it. Yeah? You feel this? Fresh. What is your issue? What's yours? You're being rude and awful. What did Curry do to deserve that? Why can't you say something nice? I don't have anything nice to say. I had no idea you were such a jerk. Yeah? I had no idea that we were here to be nice. I came to learn. Whoa. It's the fear. It's making your emotions intense. It's not the fear, Raisin. It's this crappy school. I'm done. I've had enough. Um. Well, let's end the lesson here. Your piece will go to the Wielder Temple Showcase, Curry. Ouch. Don't know if that's... Jealousy, or... Just... Being bad at critique, or... Ugh. But... Looks like Radish is out. For now. And if they're going to be displaying these, yeah, maybe they will be in the canvases all around the world. But then we might also be able to go down to the zebra to see the others. Well, let's see. Want to take a class with us? All right. Ahem. Take your places, everyone. Take a look at this old classic. Whoa. It's, it's a... Wanderer thing is cool. It's a... Yeah, it has... Three crow's feet. Restraint by lasagna. Oh, wow! That is such an energy! Let's try to recreate it. Do we even have line brushes that can make all of those? Because I, with the tools in this game, I can't possibly make all of this textural detail by hand unless I had a super duper duper mini brush. I could probably get the form. All right, brushes down. Let's see how we did. Yes, look at that majestic raven. All those lines are so bizarre. I wish that the fill the line tool or 
the paintbrush wouldn't create these gaps, the white gaps, but eh, it still looks okay. Oh, wow. It's quite complex. Mine didn't come out as nice. You capture the raw emotion of it. It's full of exciting color and energy. The distribution of light and dark is pleasant. This one had a lot going on. I feel like I need to lie down. Okay, that's it for now. Your piece will be in the Elevens' Master Gallery, Curry. Keep practicing. All right, how many more of these do we have? Class is about to start. Want to join us? Sure. Ahem. Take your places, everyone. For today's assignment, I want you all to draw your first memory. Think back to that time. What did you see? How did it feel? I want you to capture all of it. Get to it. A first memory. Ah, there, there are so many first memories. I mean, can you really determine what your first memory is? Or just reconstruct it? I know it would have to be an object or a thing. And I have to go back. Problem is, the first things I could think of would probably be playing with baby toys. What do you think? It's a boo bunny. It's an ice pack for babies. So if you get hit or if you have a bruise, you put a boo bunny on you. What? Right, brushes down. Let's see how we did. Okay. <laughs> how mysterious! Okay, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a boo bunny. When I was little, my parents had this little rabbit shaped ice pack and I believe they're still sold to this day but it, it's supposed to be something to encourage kids to ice a, a bruise or uh, something that will need to be iced on their body and you know being a young child it, it's not uncommon for you to, to trip or to fall over and start crying and everything and I remember being given the boo bunny and being told, you know, put it on your knee or put it on, you know, whatever you hit. And, you know, it was cute. And you could feel the cold in the ice cube. It, it has this little chamber over here where it it has the, the liquid inside and it gets frozen. And it's like made out of terry cloth and mine was pink. But it was just absolutely adorable. And I absolutely love it. And it, it's also a small enough quantity of ice that it doesn't really hurt you or if you keep it on too long, it probably ends up melting before you'd have to worry about making your skin go numb. But yeah, it was absolutely cute. So I drew the boo bunny with like these little hearts for healing? 
And then the purple swirls are supposed to represent a, a bruise on an arm or part of a leg. But yeah. So, Boo Bunny. How mysterious! I wonder what the story is! I want to know too. I just told it to you guys. But I can tell how it felt. It, a mixture of... Of love and pain. But somehow it feels like I'm there. It's nice to see the side of you. Where was I when this happened? <laughs> well, in this situation, given how it's the sibling, you know, the older sister may have been the one to topple poor Curry over. There are a lot of shapes to appreciate. There's just a touch of pink to round it out. A touch of pink? You mean it's mostly pink. There's a nice balance of light and dark. Well done today. Your piece will go to the Luncheon Wielder Showcase, Curry. Keep practicing. Alright. Do we have any more? Care to join us for an art class? Yeah. Ahem. Take your places, everyone. Take a look at this old classic. Ah! Oh, what is this supposed to be? Is that... That better not be the pizza dog. Does that look like the pizza dog? Cooking Cozy by Manic Manicotti. Let's see what you can do with it. Pay your artists, dog. <laughs> okay. Wander says I should make him look like a dirty capitalist. Eh. Let's see. How am I gonna paint this. Well, first off. Brushes down. Let's see how we did. Okay, I I just went with a straightforward master study. <laughs> oh, that's so charming, Curry. The original painting was pretty old, but your version feels fresh and modern. Because it's in color. I feel like you translated the spirit really well. Shapes are diverse. There's a lot to take in. Your sparing use of magenta is pleasing. Well, to be truthful, what I did was I quickly identified what colors were essentially different values and shades of one another so that I could, you know, do all of the fruit in the dark blue with light blue you know, the dog himself in the reds, his coat in the greens, and then that background just had the right olives to work as a background. So, yeah. Yeah, I, that's how I managed to choose the colors for this. In any case, it's vivid and full of colors. Because I was forced to. Ah. Okay, that's it for now. Your piece will be in the Elevens' Master Gallery, Curry. Keep practicing! How many more must I do? Care to join us for an art class? Ah! Wander, do you want to do one? Wander's gonna do one! I've been doing all of them up to this point. He was doing some artwork earlier today for thumbnails, which 
We do every so often. Very rarely. Mine take way too long. But he has a good style for his, because it's just line art with flats. Alright, because I, I just feel bad that I'm doing all of these pieces. You should be doing some pieces. <laughs> I've spent the last, well, however long you were working on these for. I've been working on uh, my next video essay script. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I can't see it on the TV. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, well, I'll just watch from afar. For today's assignment, I want you to draw a dream that you've had. Try to capture how it made you feel. Get to it! Ooh, a dream. Do you have a dream that you specifically remember? You know, I'm the I'm I actually have such vivid dreams that I keep entire notebooks full of dreams and usually my dreams inhabit up to maybe three to ten pages of written notes and such. Wonder what dream are you gonna draw? What dream have you had? Is there a cool creature or armor or a location or something that you'd want to draw? Hmm. A swoopy swoop? Is that a ship? Mm hmm I told you about this dream that I had. Where? What was what was going on? Uh, this is the kind of eldritchish detective. Oh, is that a sunken ship then? Sort of. So this is a dream that I had a long time ago. Well, long-ish. Um. There we go. Um. It was like a couple of years ago or something like that. Were you going to have tentacle creature down at the bottom? Mm, beach. Wait, what? Is it a beach? You said? Yeah. It was a beach. Um, actually, maybe I should go with the brown. Does not like. There we go. Uh. I keep doing Control Z mm -hmm. for this. Okay. It's because um, we're used to Photoshop. Yep. Let's see. Uh, so in this dream that I had. It was, I mean, honestly, if any of you guys have seen or heard of Tales from the Loop, it's kind of got a similar flair to it, where effectively, uh, it had this, like, kind of noir-ish, noir-ish aesthetic, but the, uh, the dream was about this, this guy that was acting as, like, a detective, um, in this it was the weird bubble city right yeah it was a city that had sunk underneath the ocean and there was magic and there was some other stuff but effectively the city had had sunk under the sea and there was kind of the mystery of like well yeah why oh so are you gonna draw the bubble city no um this was this was one of the two things that stood out in the dream for me uh I should probably switch to this again. Um, but effectively, there was this... It was like an orphanage at the hill for these, like, these kids. These kids were not normal. Many of them had special abilities and and features and stuff mm -hmm. that, you know, made them stand out. Very classic, you know, young adult literature sort of thing. This is, like, the saddest house I've ever drawn. It's not really taken the tablet particularly well, I'm noticing. Well, the thing about 
yeah, so the thing is, when you're drawing lines and such, it kind of blots in neighboring... It, they're not even pixels, they're blobs. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is I... This is something that I dislike about Windows and their weird updates, is that ever since Windows and Surface tablets for Windows got the ability to uh, interface with tablets and styluses, if you have a Wacom tablet, Wacom tablets being some of the you know industry standards for drawing tablets, you run the risk of having Windows Ink kind of I, I they it messes with your controls. It, it's almost as though it, it's trying to wrestle with your Wacom tablet drivers for control of the tablet or it's confusing them. So you get instances where things for Windows Ink pops up. It's like the ring, if you've noticed, if you press down for an extended period of time, that ring pops up and it's supposed to be for a double click function or something, but I always disable that. But it's annoying because every time Windows does a big update, all of your Wacom settings get reset and you have to get rid of all the Windows Ink stuff. And it's not as easy as just disabling it. Anyway, just to finish the dream. So effectively, the guy was investigating various mysteries. There were creatures that mm -hmm. uh, came out of the water and, like, died. There were these houses that were encased in uh, water. And mm -hmm. all the occupants had drowned. Ew. And it was, it was legitimately, like, not... A nice place to live. Why is everything green rather measure. than blue? Because the whole city is just cast in this constant, like, green, like, eldritch green. Oh. Um, and, uh, like, the whole night sky is always just. Effectively, it's like looking up through the ocean. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the ocean kind of has that greenish algae look to it sometimes. Yeah. Depending on where you are. And so that's what it was. And so, you know, you, you look up and you see the ocean up there. Um, and so, yes, there are the water pillars that had killed people off for some reason. Um, but the one that I remember the most was this dream, which was effectively a ship had... Started sinking? Started sinking. Implying that there was this, this something that was going on. Uh, up up above, you know, up until this point in the dream, and it was like a really long dream, mm -hmm. that there had been no contact with the surface world. People had no idea what was going on up there. And I think the implication was that there was like some kind of horrible end war uh, going on and that the, the city sinking was actually quite good for everybody. Because uh. it spared them from the surface world conflict. Yeah. But so the the city had sunk, and uh, the like last thing I remember was that the the main character, this this detective guy, uh, had like a radio on him or something, mm -hmm. and he was starting to get uh, radio signals from the ship sinking through, and they were it was like actively trying to contact him. Are you going to have the guy with the? Yeah. Walkie talkie or just standing yeah. in the sand. I mean realistically. There's not much that I can do with that. Um Let me just I don't know, there's there's only so many colors that I have available. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, it was the colors I kinda needed for this, but have the house be yeah it does it does seem to randomly choose color palettes all of the house be red there we go um yeah the interesting thing was that it was like the main character was on the beach with like one of the other orphans Uh, 
Let's see, do we have a peach that... Have them in silhouette, probably, if you don't want to have to deal with all of the yeah, extra colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was he wearing a classic hat? Uh, no. No. But he I did have know. the, uh, whoops. He did have the trench coat. Eww. What a block child. <laughs> oh, let's turn a bit of purple here and there. I don't know how much this comes across. I think it kind of does. The main issue is just... I, I mean, it looks like something is falling from whatever yeah. sea sky and yeah, coming down upon them. If people didn't know the context of the underwater city, they would have thought that something was just breaking through the clouds and about to, you know, crash land in rural the United States. You know, a la most... 1950s sci-fi movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I shouldn't say most 1950s sci-fi movies. Like, the, usually the initial premise would be that a UFO would appear and or crash. Yeah, small and, town America usually got victimized pretty bad in those situations. Well, I, there must be a reason why the trope is that cows are the ones getting abducted and that there's crop circles and such. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's always the farms. Anyway, I think this is about as good as I'm going to be be able to get it within the context of this. Sure. All right. Brushes down. Let's look at the art. Oh, heck yeah. I don't know what's all going on at all. You're not supposed to know what's going on in a dream. So it's exactly right. I appreciate your varied color choices here. There's a lot going on here. You make good use of that yellow-green color. I never remember my dreams, Poor so kid. I have no idea what to do for this. Oh, I always remember mine. I always have so many and they're so real feeling. I have trouble picking just one to draw for this. <laughs> Curry, was this a real dream you had? All right. That's all for now. Your piece will go up in the gulp swamp canvas, Curry. Keep practicing. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Any more? I'm just really tired. But how many more do we of these do we have? All right. Want to take class with us? Take your places, everyone. What's the next assignment? Take a look at this old classic. <gasps> oh. Okay, I'm gonna dip out and let Shell take this one. Wait, why? Why are you saying that? I was just awing at the cute little. It is sheet. cute, but I think I I did my thing. Fluffy, fluffy sheep, sheep by Coco. Wait, sleep sheep or sleep sheep? No, sleep. sheep sheep. Sheep sheep? Yeah, oh, fluffy, I thought... fluffy, sheep sheep. It should be... It should have been fluffy sheep sleep or fluffy sleep sheep. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, well. I'm Wait. just... Part oh. of it is I'm in the middle of my next script and it's actually turning out decently well. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's I, fine. I was just wanting to... Because I don't want this to be 80% shell drawings. That's and... okay. You're oh. the first player. And oh. it's cute. And... No. You should do this one. It's so adorable. Okay, fine. Fine. Right, brushes down. 
Let's see how we did. Oh, look at those little sheep. Hmm. I'd say you captured the fluffiness. There's a lot of intriguing detail. It feels cozy, just like the original. It's really nice to look at. I could get lost in it. You made a great use of blue here. I like how you used just a touch of brown. I want to sleep in a cloud too! Okay, that's it for now. Your piece will be in the Levens' Master Gallery Curry. Keep practicing! These do we have? All right, we're going to see Elevenses. I want to see what we have here. How many more paintings do we have left? Ah, oh, so this is only for the master gallery. Yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, five more masterpieces. Right, right. These are, but that's what I meant. That these are just the master. Um, copies as opposed to the ones that we do for ourselves that are scattered about the world. Ah, uh, we've only done half the paintings! Wander will have to do them. 